I wrote a whole column for, for IGN about sort of just the, the different the different monsters in the game and specifically mm. how like I love like everything, you know, what is it? Imitation is the sh- purest form of flattery. And also there are no new ideas. Like yeah. everything comes from something, whether intentional or not. Yep. Uh, it's how it goes. And I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of just horror movie DNA in RE4. Mm-hmm. It's from everywhere. And I, I love it for that. And replaying this, I feel like it really kind of hit me in the face. And the thing I, that occurred to me is something that jumped out at me when this game first came out. And I think I was just looking at like posters and action figures and stuff because I was I thought I was too scared to, to play it. And the thing that was very odd is like previous RE stuff, you're like, oh, there's like mute, it's like zombies and there's like mutant stuff. It all kind of made sense. And then this one, I'd see like, I'd see, um, you know, Dr. Salvador who's basically Leatherface, and then I would see, like, the Verdugo, which is the Xenomorph, and I'm like, how the, how do you connect these two? Yeah. Like, how are they related? Like, how is there any connective tissue there? And the, the answer is that it's all, it's all the parasites. Like, yeah. that's, which is a wonderful, like, narrative leap of faith there, that they're able to do yep. that. And it's funny because there's, like, there's so many, like, the, the Las Plagas themselves, they look like, they look just like face huggers. Yeah, they're from like, aliens. They're just face huggers mm-hmm. from Alien. But then at the same time, you see them basically get sort of evolved up into the Verdugo, which is, like, the original alien xenomorph. It's, like, following you around in, like, big industrial hallways. And a long whipping yeah. tail. And then yeah. flip side, you've got the, what are they called? The, um, I, f- I forget the name, but they're the, the bugs. They're just, they live in the hive. Right, oh, right. Oh, the, um, oh, gosh, starts with an N, like, no visitors, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, those are, those are, like, aliens from aliens. And yep. it's, it's yep. funny because there's just there's all these little bits and pieces and i was just kind of picking this apart and really thinking on it uh and then of course obviously there, there's there's the thing the john carpenter movie where uh you know there's a few parts in that where like the thing gets sort of cornered and it just just tentacles explode out of somebody's head and someone recognizably human goes into something very demonstrably non-human yeah and that happens left and right here and i it happens love it to the so dogs much. right like yeah. the dogs now like and they've they i think they went they went even harder with it this time around too with like the sort of like the tentacles that pop out of like specific characters heads and stuff like it's it's awesome yeah no i i absolutely adore it um but i actually kind of stumbled upon a, a couple things that are i feel like lesser known resident evil influences mm. uh one of them and I was I was poking around. There is a 2001 Stuart Gordon movie called uh, Dagon, which is an adaptation of a couple different H.P. Lovecraft stories that are kind of like uh, congealed into one. But it's it's definitely more of a uh, Shadow over Innsmouth um, story, which is that's a that's a weird novella about a dude who goes to this town and it's full of like horrible fish people. And uh, in the movie that they made, it was a Spanish production. So they changed Innsmouth to Imboca, which is instead of like mouth, it's like mouth in Spanish. Mm. And it was shot in this Spanish fishing town. And that is where the Spanish villagers from RE4 came from. Like, yeah, just, yeah. It is like mobs of these dudes. And it's 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 eerie how similar so much of this is to like beats you, you run into in, in Resident Evil. It also is like in that sort of 2001 era, they've got these like these logos for for the cult that they're in it's mm-hmm. supposed to be like the, the dagon they worship this like dagon you know undersea old one beast kind of thing but it's got this like vaguely try hard kind of tribal aesthetic to it which is just the same as the the las plagas logo where they've got these like it, it just looks like a little too a little too tribal tattoo you yeah know, it's got too many mm-hmm. pointy edges looks like the unreal tournament logo you know it's just like a little bit <laughs> it's got that it's got that like late 90s spikiness to it it's also got this like occasional jumps of really bad C- uh, cg oh yeah which is no, really totally. funny like max and i both watched this movie over the week and it's like it's interesting because it's like a, a a blonde woman gets kidnapped by a religious cult and they're you know they they, they worship like monsters and uh there's there's villagers that chase you around but the protagonist is a lot more uh he's in resident evil he's a lot more ethan than he is leon i don't think okay. i've ever had anybody this dweeby as like yeah a protagonist he's just this he's like oh, excuse me he's like trying to he's trying to speak spanish the whole time and just completely <laughs> oh god um, <laughs> don't have style I, la yeah I, I love it but it's, it's funny that like it wasn't like it wasn't the original story that influenced like resident evil it was like this specific movie and it's like it's like why why spain like that always seemed kind of odd mm-hmm. for resident evil and it's like i'm honestly trying to kind of roll that back and i guess if you were to try to do the authentic lovecraftian you know fishing village it would be a little weird if there was also like a random miniature aristocrat in a castle but i feel like <laughs> yeah. in spain you can be like eh, no there's it, that that checks out there it's yeah. spain, spain was there in medieval times of course yep. there's a castle whereas you'd have to do like have to be like a rockefeller mansion in, in new england or something it yeah. doesn't, mm-hmm. quite, doesn't quite fit